Hey, what's going on? This is Omni from OmniSanders.net. Your short-term goals are what help your long-term goals. And this is something I picked up from, from an event I, was, I attended about a couple weeks ago uh, when a speaker had mentioned this. And this really is true. And I picked this up on, from really a lot of thought leaders and uh, you know, today's the time and also in the past that mentioned the same thing. It's a little bit worded differently. I know what um, uh, I li- like to uh, listen to Robert Kiyosaki's uh, podcast uh, with him and his wife. And uh, they both have uh, mentioned it several times, a lot in the Rich Dad books as well. As far as uh, starting small and then over time you start to just, you know, work on those bigger um, uh, uh, goals that you have. But it just comes down to just, just start first and foremost. Now, also not taking away from knowing what you want down the, down the long haul. But at the same time, the Pony Hill kind of mentioned this as well as far as having a plan. Uh, as far as first and for- foremost, having that end purpose, but at the same time, uh, having a plan, even though it doesn't have to be perfect, but at the same time, at least you have a plan because, uh, the plan will change over time. But guess what? That purpose, that goal is not going to, and that's something to really keep in mind big time as you continue on, uh, as far as what you want. And that really is true as far as let's say, if you want to go, let's say for maybe a year and it's having this real short, uh, term, term goals, as far as like maybe what you want to accomplish for a week. We want to accomplish for a month. So you see, maybe even for a day. And another thing too, I remember Zig Ziglar mentioned this as well in, uh, in his book, See You at the Top, is uh, celebrate small wins. Because at times it might f- uh, feel like, man, it's like I'll be making your progress to what we really want. But if we are just making this, you know, those uh, hitting those small goals, guess what? Now we kind of feel encouraged to continue on. You see what I'm saying? It's almost like that, having that reverse psychology in a sense as far as uh, this, like, okay, yes, I achieved this one goal. Let me see. Let me aim a little bit higher. You know, maybe you set up the goals for a day and then you do it for a week. Then you do it for a month. Maybe you uh, choose to go 90 days. See, some people will uh, choose to set big goals within 90 days. Some people might see it as being short, a short term. Short term, you see, uh, either way, as long as you have what you want at the end, and that's the main thing. And again, it's taking those steps uh, because, again, they're going to lead to that, that long term goal that you want uh, near the end. So, something I just want to leave you with. And if you got value for what we shared here, I'd love to read your comments below. Like to share this video. That being said, I will see you in the next video.